People began arriving at the Stewart Funeral Home in Lawrenceville early today. One by one, they said goodbye to a pretty, warm young woman whose life was snatched away from her before it had hardly begun. Patty's parents, retired Sergeant Major Franklin Berry and his wife Millie, walked quietly into the chapel. Patty's two brothers, John and Mike, had come earlier in the day to make sure everything would go smoothly. More than 100 people from the law firm where she worked had come, too. The Catholic service was brief and dignified and seemed to echo what most people felt in their hearts about Patty Berry. And I'm quite sure, as I say, from your presence here today that Patty had a great influence in your lives. At a point, she touched you, and at that point, you learned to love her. And so now that she has gone to heaven, you may be sure that that same influence will remain with you. The service was over in less than 15 minutes. Patty's body will now be sent to her family's home of Fremont, Indiana, for burial. Major and Mrs. Berry left immediately. John and Mike Berry stayed behind to console the other mourners. Perhaps the most heartbreaking thing about this tragedy is that Patty Berry decided October 1st she didn't want to live in Atlanta anymore because she didn't feel safe in the city. Who would have thought 17 days later she would be killed for no reason by a man she never met? Ernie Bjorkman has more on where she lived.